Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm working on a TBS Oblivion. <clears throat> I had a customer send it to us needing us to put, he wanted to put GPS on it. The only problem is, is that the Oblivion firmware, the new firmware, the newer after like 3.1.7 or 3.2, quit supporting uh, some of those resources uh, and those abilities on the um, uh, on this stack. So let me show you what we had to do here, and I figured it would just make it easier, because it took me a few days to figure this out and get it to work properly, and uh, I wanted to figure I'd save somebody some time. So here's what we got. Let me split this up first, and here's what we have. So we have the TBS Oblivion sitting right here, and <clears throat> and we're using a uh, the BN180 uh, GPS, okay? So the first thing is, and I set up a page on our website here. Uh, let me see if I can show you this real quickly. So if you were to go to cyclonefpd.com, and you're on our main page right here, and if you go to, uh, let me see, news tutorials, and you click on tutorials, I just added this article right here, so you can click on that, because that'll go with this video, and this video will actually be posted to the bottom of this. You have a few things you're gonna need to do. The first one is, it says basically using the BN180, leave the wiring just like it is, and so on the BN180, the wiring is um, black, here, and I'll show you right here, so let me just make that a smaller screen. Okay, so it's gonna be black, white, green, and red. That is the uh, cable side that goes into the BN180. On the other side, what you're, so leave that one, don't adjust it, just plug it in. On the other side, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to, let me see if I can zoom in here, you're gonna to want to adjust the, uh, the pin so that you end up with uh, black, uh, red, black, green, and white, okay? And I put on here on the website, uh, which may help you here, if you look right there, you're gonna see I gave you the, sorry, the table is dirty when I did this, but you have black is ground, and then you can, I believe you can zoom in. Let me see if I can get that zoomed in. The white is the TX from the GPS to the RX of the flight controller. The green is the RX from the GPS to the TX of the flight controller, and then this is the five volts, all right? So, oh, I have to change that label. This actually should say five volts. But in either case, so you basically are gonna have it set just like that, where the white is going to the RX, the green is going to the TX, and then you have red and black. So make sure that it matches just like this right here, all right? And then if I unplug it for you, you'll see the plug with the pins are down. So with the pin down, just plug it in all the way to the left and you will be good to go. Now, once that's done, you need to head on over to Betaflight. So let's get back to our computer real quickly. And remember, this is a five volt, so it can run off of the USB. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to Betaflight now, all right? And the first thing you're gonna do, let's go to our setup here. Uh, we'll disconnect. You have got to load, and I gave you the link actually right here, so let me show you what we've got. Uh, on the page, you're going to need to downgrade to 3.1.7. So if you click this, right click on it, left click on save link as, you'll be able to save this target, which is 3.1. It save you from having to go find it, okay? Once you download that, you will need to flash it. And so basically, whoops, basically head on over to your beta flight, which is right here. And uh, I've already flashed mine. Uh, but you'll want to load it local, so I'll just go ahead and do it again just so you guys can see it, okay? So let's say we're in there right now and we want to flash it. So uh, we're going to go to Update Firmware, and we're going to find our local. So if you've downloaded it and saved it, I saved one of them to the desktop because I went through different versions until I found the one that worked. So once you find it, you click Load Local, find it right here, like I did right there, and click Highlight and click Open, all right? Once it's ready to load, make sure everything else looks just like it is on this side, and then click Flash Firmware. It's going to initialize uh, your, uh, your reboot on your bootloader, and it's going to put it in DFU mode, and it's going to start updating, okay? And we'll let this happen. Now, if you don't get to that firmware and you try to do this, what ends up happening is the GPS, every time you add it in the uh, uh, ports tab, it doesn't matter. If you go down to configuration, you activate GPS. When you reboot, it disappears. It turns off again and keeps doing that. And apparently it's because there was not enough flash memory left after they did their updates after 3.1.7 to get to work. Now, I did not go to 3.2.1 or what have you. I went straight to 3.1.7 because I remember it being very solid for my NACE 32. And so that's what I went to on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. Once we're done, we'll click connect. Uh, actually, I probably, I think on this one, after I did my flash, I'm gonna dis disconnect where it goes. Connect now. Because it doesn't open the first time, it just takes a second. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect in there. All right. Okay, now, we're gonna go to ports. We're gonna go to our, uh, I know UART2 is for the receiver. We're gonna go to UART3, and we're gonna uh, select GPS under our sensor input, and we're gonna set it for 57.6. Click save and reboot. Sorry, the phone's ringing everywhere. Let me turn that off, apologize. Okay, once it's ready, we're gonna go ahead and click connect again. Okay, 
Now we're going to go to configuration. And we're going to find, I'll, I'll go ahead and set this form just because, uh, let's see, okay. But what we're really looking to do here is go to our GPS tab on the right, click that, drop down to U-Blocks, and then go to North American, and then click Save and Reboot. Okay, now I've got this GPS in my hand here because it's not mounted to the drone yet. I will show you, let me zoom out real quickly. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll do a side by side uh, with the GPS, here we go. So here's our GPS right here. I am indoors, keep in mind. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect real quick. Okay, go to our GPS tab, and it's already updating. It already has our location of where we're at, and we're gonna start seeing our satellites start coming in, and we're gonna start getting some of our information. So we have our 3D fix, and everything starts coming in properly, okay? So just to let you know, this is how you do it. You will, you will need to change. Uh, it does give us our location right here. Um, I Let me see if I can clean my screen off. Okay, and that pretty much is gonna do it for how you're gonna install this. Now, again, what I cannot tell you is, uh, Hold on, let me change the screen here real quick. What I cannot tell you is whether or not 3.2 offers 3.2.1 uh, offers it. I have not gone that far. Uh, I went from three. I went from the newest ones, 4.0, what have you, because that's when it stopped, all the way down to 3.5, um, I think, and then I just stopped there. And I noticed that after 3.1.7, there were some mentions in 3.2 about there being no support for this. So I decided to stop right there. Uh, but anyways, there you go with your GPS. That's how you do it, guys. If you have any questions, as always. Uh, please let us know, and as always, please, whoops, wait, wait, where'd I go? There we go. Yeah, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it very much. It, it, good, great support for us, and um, if you have any questions, this is what I was going to do. I pushed the wrong button. Sorry. If I have any questions, uh, do this. Get that off of there and go here. So we have our Facebook our groups section on Facebook, so facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash cyclone FPV, and otherwise, now I'm supposed to hit this button. Boom, right there. Uh, otherwise, please follow us on Facebook or on Whatever. You know what I mean. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Sorry. I'm still new to half of this stuff. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. And always make sure to spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. So go make the most of it. You can always fly later. Enjoy the nice weather. Though. We're not raining today in Texas. Talk to you guys later. Peace.